everybody. Here we are, Geek Tech Industries, here at Kippers Malini 2018, going into round three of the Swiss rounds here at the extended tournament at Kippers Malini. So round three is Jonas on the left side and Graham on the right. Jonas flying a bit of a scum uh, a swarm again. This is uh, very similar to the one that uh, Sebastian was flying. So we have Drea in this case with Trick Shot and the Ion Cannon turret, a little bit different. Outer Rim Pioneer instead of L3, two Jakku Gunrunners, and three Venere Pirates. So I'm going to be giving those guys numbers in just a moment. Graham is rocking a, looks like a triple ace list with a lot of ordnance. So he's got Major Vinder with Lone Wolf, Fire Control, Advanced Proton, Proton Torpedoes, Advanced Slam, and OS-1 Arsenal Loadout. Uh, Death Rain with Trajectory Simulator, uh, looks like Proton Torpedoes, Skilled Bombardier, Proton Bombs, Seismic Charges, and a Blade of Plating, full load on Death Rain. Uh, Red Line with Advanced Sensors, Proton Torpedoes, and Proton Bombs. All right, there we go. We got numbers for everybody for identification purposes. We are pretty much ready to go here. I'm gonna give everybody a couple minutes to finish up. At 2.15, we are gonna go ahead and get started. Graham's saying target lock game on point, so you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> this means he's gonna fuck it up every time now. Damage cards already? What is this? Giving him a handicap? <laughs> I had to start the timer because we got a schedule to keep, so the timer is counting down. Okay, go. 
got changed on the screen. I don't know Pioneer is Bob. Oh, he's Bob, is he? Bob. Well, I just said he doesn't have a name, right? But he's unique. Like, how many? There's got to be more than one Outer Rim Pioneer. That's you know? fucking Bob. There you go. He's got Bob. He quotes next to his name now. He's Bob. he's Bob. So, okay, you know, you know, you know that every time we have Pioneer on the board now, he's going to be Bob. Be Bob. Yeah. It could be Enrique. No, no, no. It's Bob. Okay, <laughs> You mean player one? <laughs> you have pilot skill. <laughs> Jonas here got some serious face while he's dealing his dials. Graham still thinking about his placement. <laughs> don't worry, Graham. It can't be as bad as the mustache open. Oh, fuck. Don't even bring that up. That <laughs> never happened. <laughs> that was a 1.0 one point, one point in the past, Glenn. It never happened. With <laughs> second edition or nothing, man. I mean, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Right you took Scott's. No, I didn't. I swear I took that one. No. I watched you. <laughs> yeah, DQ, you're out. Ah, shit. <laughs> That's a bad start. Shortest defensible of all time. He didn't even get dialed yet. <laughs> We uh, accidentally reversed the scores for Sebastian and uh, his uh, opponent, uh -huh. so I had to regenerate all the pairings anyway. <laughs> oh, no. It's all good. It's all good. We sorted it out. My fault. I don't know who's. I'm the one who was entering all the scores. My fault. All right, timers are ticking. These guys have dials down. The handshake has started, and these guys are off and running. Or flying. <laughs> As you guys can tell, Graham has a very high appreciation for his own skill. <laughs> I said I was going to go 0-4. I'm like, what am I doing at the top table? <laughs> <laughs> uh, because random pairings. I'm so hard on myself. You're not a bad pilot. You just, just you're harder abuse, on yourself than you should be. It's all that abuse be. as a child. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I deserve it. <laughs> I'm like the most unabusive yeah. childhood ever. <laughs> <laughs> My parents are home watching this. They're like crying. You know? yep. <laughs> we never hit him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kid's getting real. He's got to stand up. I'm not. No. Uh, That's a lie. You'll be standing up at a halfway point, man. Come on. <laughs> focused up back there. I'll charge my phone still, four times. This thing's just trucking along. It's been a you know champion. No, even mine that doesn't have the tape wrap is still super. I don't know. I don't know. No, it's the, it's the Damn thing's almost five years old now. It is. Keeping it alive, man. Keeping it alive. <laughs> we missed you, Joe. All 
All right, and there's Graham already charging ahead, slamming out there with uh, Major Vinder. He's advanced sensors on red line. To all right, so there is red line's boost. Now, technically, red line could link the boost target lock off that. Can he? Yes. Because then you don't take you. They both happen at the same time. And there's his maneuver. And sweep and set. And of course, uh, Death Rain had the I stop to start, which is like classic Death Rain. I mean, honestly, that swarm of scum ships over the far side honestly looks a little terrifying. I think it also looks a little hilarious. Terrifying, I mean, but a little no, it's hilarious. It's just, it's just terrifying. Those so, Jakku gunrunners are just, or Jakku quad jumpers, but they're just such funny looking little ships. Yeah. Well, no, they're Jakku gunrunners. They are, right. yeah, I know. That's the pilot, but, but the I ship know, they, itself. They you know. are funny looking. And, and then the, the escape craft. craft. <laughs> Honestly, looks silly. It's made out of cockpit. <laughs> I know. I think I'm going straight. I don't know. Let's just get a, a screen. That's all. It's a box with an engine on the back. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the and one and of them has some, explosives. And somehow it even gets to shoot. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't give it a one die weapon. No, no, no. That's uh, that would make it even cheaper then. I mean, not even the hawk has a one die attack anymore. Come on. Anymore. Anymore. Because they tried to make it worthwhile, but yeah. that thing's an escape pod. Why yeah. does it match firepower to an A-wing? Because A-wings suck. It's an escape pod. Yeah. Why does it match firepower to a Y-wing? Because it's Lando's, and he puts guns on everything. In this whole redefined game that they have now, where they dialed so much of the attack die back, I'm really surprised to see such a tiny little ship. Well, it would be with the same firepower as a top. It would bring the cost. Well, it, they should about then it. bring the cost down, or make it comp compensate with the pilot ability. Um, no, I, I'm gonna just go ahead and disagree with you there. I don't um, think a skate pod should be armed. That's silly. Silly. Based on its cost, it fits. And uh, honestly, scum. Scum could use another two dice attack ship because a lot of the, the rest of their ships are all three dice anyway. So give them a cheap two dice attack ship, no problem. It's easy for most ships to simply go, oh, you rolled two dice? I evaded all of that. Yeah. And I mean, have you seen that thing's dial? It's, it's a bag of crap. Yeah. It's a huge bag of crap. It man. is. I love that it has a self-destruct though. Yes, yes, with the uh, the autopilot. Yeah, the overload yeah. on the autopilot. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love that one, uh, a whole lot actually. And that one's cheap. Twelve points for that ship because it explodes. The autopilot uh, autopilot oh, yeah. drone. This guy blew up Brennan's Falcon. <laughs> with the autopilot drone? He actually beamed it over towards the... Uh, the autopilot? Yeah, he, he <laughs> beamed it over towards uh, Lando on the Falcon. And it blew <laughs> that uh, is awesome! That's pretty sweet. Can I take some pics? Vendor turning in. <clears throat> Slams around, takes an advanced slam for a target lock.
Three forward. Three forward. Three forward. Three forward. I would I would be surprised, but this is for him. So. <laughs> <laughs> Totally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not the <laughs> oh man, we're having so much fun here today, guys. I'm really hope that you guys can come out for next one. Kippers Millie is such a great time. Two evades on uh, Jonas's roll. All right, so we got Venary number seven into Mr. Gunder. And that is a single hit. And Vinder gets two evades. a whole lot of nothing there. Uh, am I correct? No damage? No, nothing. No, okay. My wow, what a boring round, you guys. Yeah, my was a little, uh, little underwhelming. Yeah. I'm disappointed there. Disappointed. So that was one torque? Yeah. You still got one and you're one advanced, right? Absolutely under 500 every time I wake up now. That's all you need to do is just stay under five. I'm still in that category as well. I can hardly get below 200, and if I do manage to cross that, immediately mark, bounced I, out. I, yeah. yeah. So if you're sitting sitting there, you're all right. You're in the same bracket I am. You're getting 500 a day. It's nice. It's fantastic. What is going on here? This is the this is the curse of Graham on stream it seems. Jonas slow rolling up on Vinder here. Focusing up. Now you might be wondering, hey, it looks like you bumped, so you gotta focus. Now the thing is, if you bump and then you, you both execute the same maneuver, you're not bumped the next round. Oh, he didn't bump. Oh, you just not bumped the ship a little. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was fine. 
Okay, so that was not a collision in, in any case. God, all those dials, how do you keep track? There we go. Gun runner moving up. Move your gear up. I know it's coming. Oh yeah, there he goes. Oh, Vinder. Oh, Vinder. Vindy, 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 Vindy. Quad jump with tractor beam was janky, hey? Eh? I really like the Love whole, it. like, get Got somebody in the bullseye, bullseye double tractor. Yeah. Love it. Great way to get those medium based ships the hell over there. Yeah. That was actually really nice. Got the barrel roll to get over to get arc, and then he uh, got, brought Bob up, coordinate, do it, uh, do the. Uh, yeah. The, the tracker, tracker, that was great. That was yeah. superb. Love it. That's what old Bob is supposed to do. By the way, out of Rim Pioneer, always Bob now. <laughs> yeah, Bob. <laughs> I see you. a sting. Ow. Ooh. And uh, roll that. Oh, no, it's true. Everybody's gone after the Punisher, that's why they Yeah, yeah. Uh, roll the die. And takes a hit. I think that's actually first damage all game. Tractor beam starts off the damage. Oh, you <laughs> betcha, man. No, he didn't even tractor. He tractored him over yeah. so that his maneuver would drop him on the freaking yeah. rock. Still, Perfect. tractor wins that first damage. Yep. And now that he's on the rock, ain't, can't no, shoot. ain't can't no advanced proton coming. Nope, can't act, can't shoot. All right, here we are getting into engagement phase. Oh, so that was your primary? No, your, oh, it's your proton. removed poof that he does stay until the end of that uh, oh wait now five's done he's now he's gone <laughs> wow the power of protons compels you they're nasty 
again, I still feel they should be 12 points. Nine, nine is too little for what you get out of them. You bench, you're basically getting eight points of damage and some crits. Well, when you compare it to the price of the other missiles and whatnot, it's a lot less expensive. They're all a lot less expensive. Homing three? What? Homing three. Triple that cost to get your proton torpedoes on board. Legit. Makes sense. So I think they may have already done their playtesting well enough to think that nine is an appropriate cost. And right now, everybody feels like, oh, it's too much. But maybe it's supposed to be right where it is. We'll see. We'll see. I, they I, might change it. I feel like in uh, in December or the new year when they do the balance pass, um, I think we're going to see some ships get a little more expensive, some ships get a little less expensive, and a couple of upgrades are going to get like buffed in cost. One. And yeah, double evades. Oh yeah, Bob taking his shot. He's got a range three unobstructed. On, oh no, obstructed on red line. Oh, one crit. Red line goes, I like shields. I must have missed that. And Jonas has lost the one ship, but otherwise he hasn't taken any damage to side side, has he? Hit crit. Solid. Oh, natty! All right, just had to uh, clarify some obstruction there. It looks like uh, binary number five in front does not have an obstructed shot. One crit. Wow, he's really lay uh, laying the crits in. And one of eight. And then number, uh, oh no, that was seven that was shooting, now it's five. Oh, three hits. Spending the focus to turn that up. And evades one. One hull into Vendor, which means that Jonas has pulled ahead in the points race. <laughs> well, you're halfway there. Yeah. So it looks like Jonas has only lost the one ship so far. Graham has spread a bunch of damage around. Thinking. 
the mental fortitude to maneuver all those ships simultaneously. Put them all exactly where you want them. Space chess. All right, what'd I miss? Oh, dials, okay. Nothing, dialing in. They're playing space chess. Space chess! Let's have a chess clock. What was it? Um, War Machine has that sort of thing where um, you basically you take time back and forth with your with a chess clock. <laughs> Interesting. How much is the copy? Oh, uh, two and a quarter. Thereabouts ish. Is there a money machine around here somewhere? They take debit. <laughs> I know, I was like, well, you guys don't take debit, do you? And they're like, sure do! Square? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, perfect. Well, no, just one of the tap to pay terminals or whatever, the wow, Moneris perfect. or whatever, so. Yes. Beautiful. Uh, they're like, credit cards too. I'm like, I left that at home, that's dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't want my money, I don't want your product. Right? Well, I might, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want it that much. Yeah. yeah. Do you want another? another I'd love another. Here? Yes? Yeah, thanks. Out of your game for you, just so it wasn't burning oh. batteries. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, because it's got a two in reverse now, right? Which, whoa. And then something with like something like pattern analyzer or prime thrusters would let you barrel roll after you uh, reverse, which would be just superb. Just messing it up with the stealth templates here. I got my wallet. Oh, that helps. Yeah. Yeah, there's a true fact. It's such a better barrel roll, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Here he comes. Turning in. About to bring his guns to bear on one on somebody else here. Gunrunner. Yeah, there he goes. Ah, uh, yeah. See, you see what he did here? Oh, yeah. So, you see what he did there was it when he, he had his two groups and uh, the escape craft coming in behind. And he took the one group, two Zs, and the quad jumper. And push that up in there. And then the other group was the Z, Drea, and the quad jumper. And he's gonna bring those in second. So you have the first one get in, get some shots in. The next one's gonna come in, lay down some more shots on Vinder, while the other two peel out and start taking shots on everybody else. Oh, surprising, Drea turning out. I was not expecting that. She still gets that arc on the side. It looks like it looks like Drea has an arc off to her starboard side. No, sorry, her port side, I'm sorry. I Totally saw the dial wrong. And there's Vinder going.
going over the rock and taking one more damage. No action because over the rock, which means no slam. Uh, leaving Vinder in a bit of a pickle here. Now the only good thing is we got a Proton coming up, coming up at the end of the activation. I think that's about the only saving grace that uh, Graham's got going on right now. Advanced sensors, he's gonna focus. Uh, isn't advanced sensors now when you reveal? Broken, please fix. So, ablative on that's Death Rain. So, Death Rain's got one ablative down. That was a proton that she flung. Ah, oh, yeah, buddy. Thank you. I'm not sweet enough already. You know that. I put one in. I wasn't sure. Cool. Up to this ball, right? All right, Proton's going off. Uh, was it all three of these guys took a crit? All four of them. Oh, boy. So Bob splashed a shield. Was that Gunrunner number three took a crit? What was his crit? Weapons. Got it. And then Drea and Six each took one as well. Wow, that's a lot of shit to keep track of. What? Well, you keep calling Elder Rim Smuggler Bob. The Pioneer? He's Bob. Yeah, or Elder Rim Pioneer. Elder Rim Pioneer, yeah, yeah. 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 So, Jim Bob? Out on the Elder Rim? Rim Bob? <laughs> rim job? <laughs> ah! Ah! Jim Bob with He's the out. rim job. Jim Bob's out there doing an Elder Rim job. Oh, <laughs> you've ruined my brain. Oh my God, so he's Jim Bob with the rim job. Jim Bob does a rim job. <laughs> a job in the outer rim, he's, you sick he's bastard. just going to work. Jesus, people. <laughs> Get your mind out he's of the gutter. He's trying to make a buck to bring home the bacon. Uh, gross? <laughs> Why? He just flies a ship. I mean, if you want to call that thing a ship, but... Job in that rim, you know. <laughs> oh, you guys all done? One all. Oh. What, already? Wow. He had really bad luck. Uh, wow. How did it end up? One and all. Oh, you flattened him. He had really bad luck. Uh, that's the thing. The rules just weren't... Yeah, the dice You didn't even ball. get your torps off, did you? I got them eventually. Okay. He had like one good torp. Uh, I didn't even oh, target. Yeah. Well, we've already got. Oh yeah, I might have to refresh. No, it's okay. It just went zoomed out. Yeah. All right, so we already got a uh, a game over on table two. Uh, Scott. That was just like an advanced game. Yeah. Scott minutes. with his uh, proton torps there, just leveling Alex Yoon. Oh, that's fast. Thirty-five minutes. Holy smokes. Dude, that's like a speed record. What the hell? I took out stakes in proton cop out with my torps. <laughs> Just blast your fire. Well, it is wet. It's range one wet, so it's like four dice on the Four dice, and you were all one. Yeah. And then, like, range one garbage, another four dice, and then finish it with an ion turret. So it's four dice, but I only need one hand on it. Yeah, yeah. That was totally the right move I played, though, when I just got my mind. Yeah, just slam. Yeah. And he was ion, and then I knew exactly what it was. Oh man, yeah. I didn't realize Drea had taken so much I'm damage. Gonna, I gotta get caught up here. Right behind him. Yeah. And like this whole side's got to stay the target one and fire the torps. 
There we go, finally got that caught up. So I screwed up putting in the score? Yeah. One score and it was enough to ruin Upside. everything? Yeah. yeah, I put the wrong score. So all the, everyone got shuffled around oh. again, you end up in the exact same chair as the previous game. Again? Yeah. Like I was I was there on the previous game. The previous game. game. Yeah, that's what the previous game and the previous shuffle. Wow, I kind of missed a bit there in the last uh, attack. Wow. I was like a focal point in the shuffle. Yeah, one more into yeah. that uh, death, death, death range. One now. Uh, After that, I think that's a pretty good chance. Yeah. yeah. I really want James to like slam this game. Because I know I can do this with someone who's more terrified me. Taking one, one. okay, yeah. So it's Three like turns is easy. Seven turns? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, I'll shoot all my torpedoes at like one of your seven ships. It's like, ooh. <laughs> oh, just don't elf all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spread the wealth and then come in. You know what, even if she, even if she can't hit you with that turret, she's well, still got you in an arc, which gives everybody yeah, those damn rerolls. Is that one? That, that was uh, one hull on red line, eh? Yeah. That might be the one off. Just ignore the fence. Yeah. Oh, man. So Death Rain's at three. Red Line's at five. Vendor's at one. And he's still doing fine, isn't he? I can't wait. few of them left. I know, it's coming. Hashtag soon. Hashtag soon. DM it. Yep. Soon. Here we go. Dial's in. He's got two left. Another proton like bomb from Death Rain. No, that's not Death Rain. That's uh. Sorry, that's that's Red Line. That's Red Line. Still got one bomb left on Red Line. Is that one bomb left on Red Line? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't be so negative. No. The Yavin veterans are working. Yeah, buddy, you're doing great. It's Dutch. I think I think Dutch is my new uh, my new favorite rebel pilot. Well, the Y wing has gotten such a great buff. I mean, I always like Dutch. I brought him to regionals last or two years ago. Passing target locks is uh, no joke. Well, they made it so much better now because you don't have a range requirement. No. On the pass target lock or whatever the extra target lock. Just as long as Dutch. As long as that other ship 
has range to take a target no, lock. No, they changed it. What? Now it's as long as Dutch has range. The other ship can take a target lock as long as the other. It specifically says that on the card. Uh, on the card itself? Yeah. No, 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 no. That can't be right. That ship may acquire target lock on the object you lock in order. Ignoring, ignoring range, range restrictions. restrictions. Wowee. It that so second part, yeah, that's because, actually really awesome. Because now I can give wedge them because wedge often like if is, yeah, yeah, you, you can keep wedge out of it. Yeah. No, just the pilot skill problem. Oh yeah. Because yeah, before yeah. Dutch would go up, he's still pilot skill. So now he can go up, take the target lock. Got a feeling Dutch is gonna get recosted too. I don't know, the Y wings are still kinda like they go down if you target them. I know, but that's a pretty like banging ability right there. It is. <laughs> I remember I used to run, I used to run Bodhi and Dutch, and yep. it's like I don't even need Bodhi anymore. Nope. <laughs> it's, it's like wave one all over again, Garvin and Dutch, the best friends, golden red leader, just passing tokens around. How's this game going? Is Graham taking down any of Jonas's Ridiculous. ships yet? Huh? Is Graham taking any Jonas's ships down yet? Not really. Oh, uh, yeah, he took uh, one of the Jakku gunrunners. Oh, that's not a big deal. And I think he's got half on Drea. Drea's so awesome. Yeah, half Andrea. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna get up. Um, just double checking on a ruling I just had to give over there. Lorik. Oh yeah, yeah. Lorik. Yeah. Suspend is reinforce. Right. When a friendly ship at range zero to one is being attacked, you may spend your reinforce. To, he can do that for himself. A friendly ship, he has range zero to himself. So he spends his reinforce to give himself an evade, he's no longer reinforced, but he spends it to him. Yes. I yeah. ruled it right. All right, just had to clear up a too many dice rolled in an entire phase. So uh, hopefully that will clean things up going forward. Now it's time to catch up with these guys. <laughs> wow, 
Jonas is really putting on a clinic here. Wow, Red Line's only got two hits, uh, two uh, life left, eh? So six and seven lose their shields. Um, Jacku Gunrunner number three took one as well. And Bob took one, didn't he? So now Bob is, uh, wow, you got no shields left on the board, right? Oh, and then Redline took, or sorry, uh, Jet Green took one as well, right? Did, did you ablative? Yeah, there's your ablative. I thought so. Yeah, uh, three left on Drea. Two from Redline into Drea. Oh, he's re-rolling the, the target lock. Oh, he was going for the kill shot. Two in. Drea's almost dead. Mostly dead, but not quite yet. Vendor, you lucky bastard. Yeah, I'm not sure what you were thinking there either. Yep. Turn up for another one on Deathfire, who, oh, managed to scooch out. I wish it was Deathfire. Why isn't he good anymore? Your die roll. Or death rain in this case, sorry, death rain. Yeah, that's about right. Wow, Drea is really close to doomed right now, but she ain't dead yet. thing is it does require some skill to fly but once you get that nailed um, it can be incredibly surprising to your opponent 
kill the tugs because they make everybody else hit harder. Yeah. And I mean, you had you had a bad go with Vinder because he threw you on the rock right away, um, and that that just shut you down. I was smoking a big old dude. <laughs> I wish that was a great uh, that was the excuse, right? <laughs> Just uh, sorting some things out on another table there. Wearing a bunch of hats. Oh, somebody's looking for a template or a dial or a token. Something, somebody ditched something. Maybe a dice. Last seismic down. Out of ablative too, eh? Yeah, this uh, Jonas right now is is really putting on the clinic on how you fly a mixed swarm. Yeah, like this, this is textbook how you fly this list. I will be watching this probably a dozen times going forward because I'm going to be bringing this list to some casual nights to get my face racked with. He's just, he's keeping you from getting away from it. Oh, yeah, you might have been able to leap through that. But really, it's, it's hard to predict, too, right? So. <laughs> you just gotta finish off the losing now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Keep keep yourself from getting losing too much, right? Yeah. You, you feel like he's gonna take you out? You got you got 18 and a half minutes left. You got this, buddy. That's true. That's he he, he takes medium sized bites. One, Death Rain has four left. Bye, Ben. 
Oh, I have been doing the wrong amounts on Death Rain. Uh, Red Line's dead. Red there line's we go. Dead, yeah. Death Rain's got four? that took one, okay. And Death Rain again. Half points on Death Rain, ooh. This is pretty tight, 100 to 133 right now. No, no, oh no. These are no. These are the lucky dice, man. <laughs> so Vinyard's dropping a proton again. Last proton. Here it comes. Oh, natties. I was into number three, and he's down. Oh, Graham's tightening up the margin here. 133 to 128 for Jonas. Here comes Venere. And what is that? A single crit. There's a focus, one more crit, which Hull is Paul Breach. That's a dead death rain. Wow, all right, one more, that's one more down. Oh man, Vendor, you got this, bro. I don't know. 15 minutes for Vendor to bring it home. No pressure, no pressure, Graham. You might have been better off with uh, an ace like Sumtier instead. No? I don't like ships that blow up in one hit if you whip. So my green dice are always bad. Vinder's a fucking creeper. Last day he was amazing. I just I screwed up there. I should have turned him in. Yeah, it was too I soon. Just, it was too soon. I should have came around the locker and then, yeah, I got to start picking him off. Tomorrow. But you were hungry for a kill. I was. I don't think that, I honestly feel like the Star Wing is not as good as it was. Well, the problem and is, like, if it, there are Wing, ships that are much better box. for its cost in my opinion. Box, right? huh? it's, it's like, yeah. yeah. Just that it, it has a white reload instead of a uh, red reload. Yeah. I mean, most of the time your ship is blowing up before you get the reload. Yeah. It's worth it for the number of points you have to sink into him. That's just my feel, though. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love them Star Wings. Freaking love them. Yeah, slam torpedo. Yeah. I like. Well, now, now I have one wolf fly. Yeah, Dre is 47. Uh, 
I got all the numbers right here in front of me, so. Crazy. We still got that advanced proton on uh, Vinder, right? Hasn't dropped that yet. That's what got you killed last time, man. Don't I've invoke been, his wrath. I've been flying better this game. I just, I just, yeah, I should have turned around. Hey, you know what? The important thing is that you can identify your mistake so that you don't make I've it next time. I've only this guy once against Brendan. And it's like the only game I've absolutely sat on Brendan. And it's yeah. Like this guy. He's a fucking monster. Right? Now, see, I can understand why you were like, yes, I'm bringing him then. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm just not comfortable with the Phantom. It's too switchy. It's, it's a wonderful dancer. Yeah. You just got to make sure that it doesn't dance around anybody else. I just don't want to play what everyone else is playing either. Like, yeah, I'm playing yeah. Fan or Punisher, right? But I just want to play a ship I really love, and I, I love. Yeah, I love no, Star Wings are great. Yeah. I've had much love for them since, like, the days of uh, um, TIE Fighter and its expansion. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are awesome. I'm glad they didn't really hurt them at all, too, from the carryovers. I thought they might. Well, no, they yeah. dialed them in pretty solid yeah. uh, when they brought them in. So. The last four points. Well, and, but now you, you don't have harpoons, so. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, you have protons. It's funny because really the proton torpedo hasn't changed much. And now it's suddenly one of the best weapons in the game, but it really. Because it stayed the same while everything else everything got lowered. Everything else got lowered. Yeah. yeah. The proton torpedo just came across basically as it was. Yeah. Now it's a favorite. It used to be too expensive and just not worth putting on there because of its yeah. price. Yeah. One shot, not gonna get a kill. Oh, oh yeah, he's getting his ordnance out. Go, Torp. Ooh. What? Why would you just target lock the rat? Can't you spend your target lock? No, you're not allowed to spend your target lock until you slam off the monster. Well, you can't spend it. Yeah, I'm just going to fire control there. And one turn Three hits. Two hits and a crit. Oh, oh a crit on number five, uh, which is not correct. dead. What did yeah. he get? I, I needed a kill before he stopped because that was the only way. Because, like, I'm taking one here, but it's also the only crit. Oh. Yeah, I need, I need him to die. And we roll for two hits. Oh, double evades. Okay. This is, oh, man. Into two hits. Number five. He shot with six first. And there it is. There it is. One dead vendor. So. <coughs> All right. So there we go. Round three in the bag. Jonas advancing a little further, getting a bit more margin. Graham handing him some points and uh, still managing to get 128 points of his own. That is a respectable loss, sir. So, uh, all right, we're going to be back with uh, game four in just a little bit. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Leave some comments in the comment section down below and go check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash Industries. And we'll see you on the map.